few have been allowed to drive that car, but Jay Leno has for CNBC's Jay Leno's Garage. He tried to break the quarter mile land speed record for production cars. All right, Jay, this is Franz. You're ready to go. Launch. Here he goes. Wow. 9247. Wow. Wow. I wonder if that broke a record. Jay's with us from his garage. That's fast. Was it a winner? It was a winner. I mean, it is now the fastest production car you can buy. Faster than any Ferrari, oh. faster than any three and a half million dollar Bugatti. Uh, you know, it's pretty amazing. You know, the most amazing part was that drag strip was in near Bakersfield in an agricultural area. So there's farming all around. There were birds sitting on the Christmas tree. That's the light that comes down. When I stepped on the accelerator and took off and I came back down after going 152, the birds were still there. I mean, you go to any drag strip and it's just horrible noises, tires smoke, blah, 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 blah. but just the fact that you could go that fast, that swiftly, that quickly, you know, it's pretty amazing. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of American technology and especially products that developed here in America using locally sourced stuff. And that's why I love this car. $130,000 is a tremendous amount of money, but to get the same performance from an from internal combustion engine, you probably have to spend, in the case of Bugatti, two and a half million or Ferrari close to a million. So it, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. You, you Plus, were I had the air conditioner on. <laughs> <laughs> you were into Tesla from jump. Uh, I, I'm, I'm curious what it feels like in that car with the yoke. I mean, do you feel the power? Do you get the same rush or no? Well, it's different. You know, I have a lot of steam automobiles from the last century. And steam gives you that same initial. See, internal combustion engines need transmission to transmit power because the transmission multiplies the power. Uh, an internal combustion engine doesn't make its power until it's really moving very quickly. You see, electricity, like steam, is right now. So electric cars don't need a transmission. So the minute you step on the accelerator, boom, you're gone. You see, with a car, you've got a, that first gear will give you the initial pull. But that runs out quickly, so you shift to second, shift to third, because it's all done automatically yeah. too now. But you still need a transmission. You don't need any of that with an electric vehicle. So that, that's what I find fascinating. I mean, steam ran everything from 1800 to 1911. From 1911 to now, it's internal combustion. And from now into the near future, it's probably going to be electric or some form of electric hybrid. Think there's going to be a long line for these? Well, I think so. I mean, it takes a while for people to come around, but they come around more quickly. I mean, it took 75 years to every American to get a telephone in their house, <laughs> but it only took five years for everybody to get a computer and a cell phone. So uh, people trust technology a little bit more, plus the fact that you have virtually no maintenance with yeah. an electric car, and also the fact that now, like the new Tesla, you get even with the base model, you get 400 miles approximately. So that's more than the fill-up in most cars. So uh, that problem seems to be taken care of as well. I hear you. We'll be watching for season six of Jay Leno's Garage, premiering this fall on CNBC. Thanks, Jay. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.